Now, hundreds of people have protested in Libya's eastern city of Derna. They're demanding accountability after devastating floods that killed thousands of people a week ago. <laughs> Protesters set fire to the home of the city's mayor. They want the public prosecutor to speed up an investigation into how two dams collapsed after heavy rain. Residents blame officials for not properly maintaining them. First of all, we pray that all the martyrs will rest in peace, and I hope this is the end of our catastrophes. We just ask that if there will be any rebuilding efforts, that no Libyan company be ever involved. This is because everyone in Derna, from the head of the municipality to all the officials, are corrupt. Derna should either be left as it is, or a foreign company should be involved. Malik Trainer joins us now live from Tripoli. So, Malik, what does the afternight of a night of protest look like there in Derna? Well, at the moment, things are very tense. Nobody knows, uh, you know, what's going to happen. We started hearing reports uh, that some rescue teams uh, are leaving because they're afraid of they're due to the security situation. Uh, but also journalists as well. I've spoken to three teams that were told by local authorities that all journalists must leave the city. And as far as the people, Sammy, I mean, you, 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 we, we saw in that protest, people are extremely angry. I think after, it's been a week now since these floods, more than a week. And, you know, after people start dealing with the initial shock, so now, you know, they, they realize that many of their family members, if not most, are missing and the recovery hasn't been uh, very, uh, very quick. They're angry. They want accountability. They want justice. Uh, and they also do not trust officials on either side. I mean, we've seen uh, here in Tripoli, the government has said that it's allocated uh, more than half a billion dollars uh, to the rebuilding of Derna. And in eastern Libya, the parliament uh, approved a budget of more than two billion dollars to rebuild uh, the city but you know as you heard in that protesters uh, 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 interview he said you know we don't want them they're, they're all corrupt uh, they're not going to rebuild we want we want international they want a foreign they want international management of this crisis and of the rebuilding process because uh, people here just there's a severe lack of trust uh, with Libyan officials. And tell us what the state of recovery is looking like. Are people getting enough help now? We're still hearing stories about individuals having to go themselves through rubble with pickforks and shovels. The scale of the destruction uh, is, is I, I think, unimaginable. I mean, even just, just looking at it, I don't think the pictures are giving us the justice that of the or the scale of how bad uh, this really is uh, we've been seeing pictures of of people you know with little shovels because no no rescue teams have arrived to them uh, with little shovels just digging in their you know in the rub in the in the rubble trying to get to their family members that they they believe are are still meters in 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 meters uh, below the ground so people are, are really angry that uh, that authorities haven't been able to uh, act quick enough and there hasn't been enough equipment sent into the city and they they want justice you know we've been talk we've been uh, we've been talking to a lot of people I mean in Delna and all of them say that that, that, that these dams authorities knew they had they had a lot of problems there were risks and fears but yet nobody did anything. To, to, to fix the dams, and, and they are the ones who are responsible for this disaster and the loss of thousands of lives. All right, we'll leave it there. Thanks so much, Malik Trainer.